My name is Stephen Braley. I work for Nautel Customer Service. Today I'm going to do a short video on how to troubleshoot XL, XR power amplifiers and modulators. Now we're going to demonstrate troubleshooting a modulator. Got a meter set for diode. There are four FETs. This nut here is common to the drain of the FET. As you can see, there's no connection, so you need to put the positive lead on the drain. The pin to the left is the gate, which should see a normal diode. And that looks good. And the source should be double that value. This is a good looking modulator. Repeating those steps with another modulator. We see a dead short between the drain and gate. And the source is the same. So this is a bad modulator. At least one or more of the MOSFETs are bad. This is another one. Same test. That looks good. Normal diode between gate and drain. We'll go to the source. As you can see, that's not double. That means the gate to the source has broken down. So this is another bad modulator. Let's move on to the amplifiers. Eight FETs. The negative goes to the center leg, which is the drain. Because of the transformer, it doesn't matter which leg you touch, gate or source. This test will only reveal a shorted FET. That one looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. I usually just do one pair, one of each pair, because the way they're configured, if one is bad, they both look bad. As you can see, there's 0.2, which is half of the normal diode, and the other one will probably look the same. Don't know if you can see this. But there's at least one, if not both, of those FETs are bad. I'll show you what a good one looks like again. This is a normal looking FET. Let's grab another one. Negative to the center leg, which is the drain. Positive. Looks good. Looks good. Ah, what do we have here? We have a bad fat. But don't know if it's that one. Its mate looks bad. Now these two are paired with the two on the other side. In this case it looks like they're isolated to one, or if not both of those. And that one looks good. So one if not both of these FETs here are bad. Now to properly test an amplifier, to determine which FETs are good and which is bad, the static check initially will only reveal a shorted FET. An open one would not show up with that test. You have to relift the gate wire on each FET. You see that wire is lifted, that wire is lifted so far. And I've gone ahead and done that in advance. Now a FET requires a gate to be triggered with a voltage. You won't see anything, but when you come over and touch the source, it should be a dead short, as it is. To reverse that, use the negative lead to trigger the gate, come back to the drain, and it should open back up. That is a good FET. Let's go to another one. Touch the gate, back to the source. Touch the gate, back to the drain. 
This one did not close or open properly. That one is a bad FET. Because we've lifted the gate, we know that one is bad. Let's look at its mate. Negative to drain, touch the gate, over to source. That one looks like a dead short. Touch the gate with a negative lead, come back to the drain. Ah, because it's in parallel with that one, this one could be holding that one, making it look bad. So you'd have to lift the, this one out of the circuit to determine if that one's good or bad. Let's keep going. That one shorted and open back up. Drain, gate, source, dead short, gate, back to the drain, open back up. Good fit. Chuck one more. Gate, source, dead short. Gate with a negative lead, back to the drain, opens back up. That's how you troubleshoot amplifiers and modulators.